Howdy folks and welcome to my 5000 mile review of the Dainese Laguna Seca 4 perforated one piece race suit. You heard that right, 5000 miles with the suit and not a single mile on the racetrack. I actually use this suit for my regular road riding, uh, either on day trips or on long distance rides. And so let me tell you about this experience with the suit and let me take a wild guess that you're probably watching this video um, for the following reason. You're looking for a one piece suit. You are looking for something that has level two, CE level two protection almost all the way around uh, in the important areas, right? Shoulders, um, elbows and forearms um, and in your knees, you get C level one uh, in the hips on this. And you're looking for a perforated suit because you're probably in a warmer climate and you're wondering, man, am I going to cook in this thing um, when it's hot outside? So let me tell you, I use this suit in South Texas. Uh, in South Texas, our winter time means 70 degrees, which is uh, 20 some degrees, 20 degrees Celsius or so. Um, our summertime goes over 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is in Celsius over 40. I wear this suit in this 40 degree weather and as long as I'm not standing still at a stoplight for 3 minutes or 5 minutes or 10 minutes, um, I am perfectly comfortable in this. Uh, the on the road it ventilates absolutely fantastic. So if you are looking for a very well ventilated one piece suit, you should take this into consideration. And this is probably why you're watching this video anyway. So let me give you a, a strong endorsement for the, for the ventilation and the comfort of the suit. Speaking of comfort. Um, there is a, is a great um, uh, mix on the suit here between, uh, you know, Dionysus uh, stretch material uh, and this uh, uh, harmonica thing, you know, where you have to come to those areas of stretch. Uh, and there's even this, this stretch right here in the legs a little bit. Um, it is a very, very, very comfortable suit. But when you're looking at sizing, um, you know, the, the old rule of picking a one-piece suit applies, right? If you write on the size chart, uh, then there's going to be a race fit. That's going to be really, really tight, and it's going to be designed for you to be on the bike. If you want to comfortably be able to, uh, to, to be a little more comfortable on the bike or potentially even walk around in the suit very comfortably, well, then you're looking for a comfort fit, which effectively means a size up. So I'll tell you on my end, when I size this thing out first, in most measurements, I was a 50, and in some measurements, I was a 52. And so I went with a 50, and on the bike, it fits me spot on. It is absolutely brilliant. But when I get off the bike, um, it squeezes in the, all the wrong places a little bit. Um, so if I would have looked for something I can you know, comfortably be on all day and do lots of walking around in, I should have gone with 52. I don't regret going to 50. The 50 stretched out by about half a size. I'm comfortable. I just have to keep in mind that when I stop, I'm going to go walk around. I got to unzip. Uh, so I create a little bit more space for uh, you know, all the necessary accessories uh, to be in, in complete comfort. Um, but speaking of comfort, this is a hyper comfortable suit. Uh, for folks who have never thought or maybe just thinking about uh, traveling in a one piece suit and would think, man, that's why they'd be uncomfortable in a hassle. It is not. It is actually the exact opposite. It is supremely comfortable. These suits were like second skin. Uh, you don't even think about them. You know, there's so many things when it comes to motorcycle clothing, particularly in textiles, when I used to wear textiles before, uh, with stuff flapping around and, and air kind of flowing in the wrong angle. And, and so many things you think about on a long day's ride about your clothing that you're wearing. And when I got into this one-piece suit, uh, man, this thing is so comfortable. You don't even think about it. You really focus on the ride. You're 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 just comfortable on the motorcycle. I completely recommend it. Uh, you know what? If you need to make a pit stop, uh, does that get a little complicated? Yeah, but you learn the the ways to deal with it. You know, kind of how you unzip and how you get dressed, undressed. Um, you know, you figure it out, let's put it that way, uh, relatively quickly to the point where it's no longer a, a major nuisance. Um, and you can just kind of easily get by. Oh, one quick comment on, on, the, on the suit as you see it in front of you. You can probably tell, hey, it's 5,000 miles. And while I have maintained it, I didn't polish it up for this review because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like after a couple weeks of regular use. Um, and so you will see a few little discolorations here and there, but it cleans up really well. And I'll get to that here um, in a little bit. So... Real quick, just a quick recap. Comfort, fantastic. Fit, uh, if you're going by the size chart, you look at the race fit. If you want to be a little bit more comfortable, uh, go one size up. Uh, 
usability on long distance, fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. And ventilation. Yes, this is a fantastically ventilated suit. I mean, I'm sure you've seen other reviews already, but, you know, perforations absolutely everywhere on this suit. Here, 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 all the way down the legs, on the back. Uh, it is it is uh, is a very very comfortable suit even in hot weather. Uh, another reason why you might be here is the colors, um, and you know there's lots of discussions on the on the webs from some owners that complain about the the red, and some people come back and say no, it's not red it's orange, uh, and some folks even come back and says ah it's not red it's pink. Um, so what is it? Uh, well, it depends how you maintain the suit. Uh, if you're properly maintaining it, then it is a really bright fluorescent red. Uh, but if you were to not maintain it for a while, then that color will start fading a little bit. I guess it, it gets a little bit more dull. And then it starts venturing towards maybe a little bit orangish um, or maybe a little pinkish. Uh, I can see that, but to me that means that you're not properly maintaining your suit. Also, your, 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 your white will turn a little bit grayish or you know, a little bit discolored from, from obviously pollution and, and pollutants that, that, that the suit is exposed to on the road. Um, your, your, like I said, your black will start, start, start fading a little bit as well. Uh, so if you properly maintain the suit, then it is a really bright fluorescent red. Uh, it is not a deep red. Uh, so it's not a Ducati deep red. Uh, it, it is it is lighter than that, uh, but uh, but it is red. It's not pink. It's not orange. If it's properly maintained, it's red, but a very very black fluorescent red. All right. So with that dish, you put to bed. Um, you know what are some things that I don't like about the suit? Uh, I would say there's two that I can think from the top of my head. Um, number one, and it doesn't really bother me because I I properly use the suit, but some people are going to be really picky. This is an expensive suit. Is that the the I guess in the dyeing process of the different levers, particularly on the on the reddish, uh, the fluor red sides, um, it's not quite perfect. Let me show you guys here, and this has been a properly maintained suit, uh, but I see some cracking. I don't know if it comes out in the video, uh, but in the areas you know where there's a lot of bend, this is the elbow area. Um, there is some cracking where you see this, um, you know, the, the the white coming from underneath the color. It doesn't bother me. Nope, it's pretty much hidden. You know, you have to really look for it. Uh, but if you're super, super picky, be aware of that, that, that might happen. Um, it actually also happens uh, right here on the uh, on the edge, right here, uh, where the, I guess the extension, I forgot what these things are called, but it's accordion, where these two accordions connect, there's a little bit of uh, wear peeling uh, there as well. Doesn't really bother me. Uh, you know, but if you're if you're a super picky person, just be aware that might happen. For some reason, it doesn't happen in any of the other colors. Um, so I wonder if it's something that's related to the to the dye that's being used on this uh, on this fluor red, and then that stuff is just not perfectly sticking to the material that's that's below. Um, the next thing I think that 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 there's a little bit of a drawback is that obviously this is a one piece race suit. There are no pockets on it, and there is a pocket on the inside, which you would think, hey, that's cool. There's an inside pocket that works well, but you know what? This is a si like a like a side loading pocket, right? So which means you load like this. And all you have is this little tiny piece of Velcro right there uh, that keeps it closed. Which means if the stuff that you're loading in there is not bigger than this gap, then guess what? It's going to start rolling out through there. Um, so if you're going to be you know, walking around, you're going to keep your little tube for your, um, for your earplugs in there. Um, it might fall out on you. Uh, that's me how I know. Uh, and so I actually uh, purchased a leg bag that, I'm, that I just recently purchased and I'm reviewing. Um, I'll give you guys a review on this to, to be able to, to hold my stuff there. So that's, nice, that's another drawback is the, uh, is the ability to carry stuff, particularly if you use this as a travel suit, uh, you need to have another solution. That inside pocket is really not that great. It will work for, some, for a passport, it will work for a cell phone, uh, but if there's smaller items that you kind of want to kind of put in there, um, then that might become a little bit more tricky. Even with keys, um, it might become a, a little bit more tricky. Um, but once again, a supremely comfortable product, really, really well done. Uh, uh, oh, you know, might, you might be uh, asking about the, the you might be wondering about the the legs. Um, I did want to point this out. Uh, so there's two zippers. Uh, there's the big zipper, and then there's this calf adjustment zipper. Allows you to make it really comfortable. It also has this Velcro attachment here for Dionysus, uh, uh in boot or out boot. I'm not sure which one it is anymore. Uh, where you can attach and you can have the, this. The, you can wear this on the outside uh, of the boot, or it's kind of Velcros to the boot. 
Um, you can get really creative with this as well, maybe on other boots, maybe modify them a little bit to have also Velcro attachment if you like. Uh, but the comfort level of these is really, really cool. Um, now the cool thing about this, uh, you know, speaking about comfort earlier, the perforation right here. Um, why I can't tell any airflow when I'm riding, I also don't feel like my calves are on fire uh, or my shins are on fire, you know, with the, with the, all the armor that's there. So I'm sure it does provide some cooling effect. Um, and yeah, it's overall, once again, it's a, it's a fantastic suit. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of this product. Uh, I have no hesitation whatsoever strapping this on and going or putting this on and going on a, on a 12 hour ride when you're on the bike. It is supremely comfortable. Uh, the ventilation is fantastic. Uh, you know, it's just a great product. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy I went this route, and I, I look forward to, to many more trips uh, in this suit. And, you know, maybe one day I'll end up on a track day, and I, I'll, I'll get to actually put it to proper use. Uh, but until then, it is a fantastic uh, road suit as well. Um, you know, let me make one more comment. Uh, you know, I referred to it earlier about to, to care. So in the packet, uh, you will get actually a sample of their uh, cleaning and their uh, protective uh, cream uh, for the suit and obviously they give you a demo it's kind of small and what it is is here's this uh, lever strong cleaner and there is the lever protection cream um, and you know what i'll be very honest this thing from dynasty is pretty expensive but um, if you look at this this is actually made by lever master which is a very popular product um, across all kinds of leather products from uh, clothing all the way to furniture um, and it's quite easily available at uh, retailers and, and online as well uh, from our folks that provide lever care products. And so I decided to go out on a limb and I actually went and ordered some. And I ordered the cleaner. In this case, I have the soft cleaner here and I also have the strong cleaner. Uh, I ordered lever protection cream and I lever ordered lever vital, uh, which is kind of a, a nourishment for the lever uh, as well. And so I compared this, this liquid with the liquid that came in, in the packet. And guess what? It's exactly the same stuff. Um, so you can save yourself a few bucks uh, by buying this stuff. And I've been using the Lever Vital on, on this suit as well, um, which has really helped uh, enrich you know, the, the, the feel of the suit. You know, some people complain that Dionysus Lever is a little bit rough. Um, doesn't really have that much of a hand. Well, if you treat it, with all three steps, you clean it first, and then you give the vital, and then you put the protection cream, and you take your time with it, then, man, the end effect is awesome. The colors are really rich. The feel is fantastic. Um, it is it is a really, really good way to go. So, uh, once again, uh, if you want to have the best colors, and, and you suit last year a while, you want to use cleaning products, and if you want to save a couple of bucks on the cleaning products, or on the maintenance products, uh, just buy the original Lever Master stuff forever, and stuff from Dionysus, Solar Dionysus. Um, I love you guys. Uh, this is you guys will make great products. I've bought, spent lots of money with you all. Uh, but if I'm can get the lever care for somewhere else for a few uh, less dollars, then I will go that route. Um, what else can I tell you about the suit? Um, I don't know. I think I think that's it. I think I can just give you guys a huge two thumb uh, thumbs up on this uh, on this uh, suit. This is the Dionysus Laguna Seca four perforate suit one piece. And I absolutely love it and I wholeheartedly recommend it to anybody who's even just remotely considering this suit. Thank you very much for watching. If uh, you'd like to see the suit and uh, you know, the pricing as well as the other colorways, and there's several colorways on these, uh, there's a link below in the description uh, that you guys can click on and, and, and see it in, you know, from an online retailer. Uh, if you uh, have any additional questions about the suit, my, my experience with the suit, uh, please feel free to comment below. Uh, I'll be more able to get back to you on and provide the additional value that I, uh, that I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll truly appreciate that. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please be so kind and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Hope this was valuable to you all. Have a wonderful day.